Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. Today we're studying a scene from a TV show called Two and a Half Men. Two and a Half Men is an American sitcom that started being broadcast in 2003 and ended last month. I think it was pretty funny in the earlier seasons and it petered out a bit towards the end. Some of the humor I liked was when Jake couldn't understand certain words or expressions because he was too young or not particularly smart. And the scene we're studying today is like that. Charlie and Jake are in a car. Charlie is Jake's uncle. And they're driving to a restaurant to go on a double date. And Charlie says to Jake, Now let's talk about your date. You need to get your ducks in a row before we get to the restaurant. And Jake doesn't understand the expression, get your ducks in a row. To get or have one's ducks in a row is an expression which means to get or have everything organized, to be prepared. Here's an example of the expression used in a headline. Have your financial ducks in a row before spring hits. There's an article in the Alberta Farmer Express advising farmers about the financial documents that they need to prepare. Jake is confused about the expression because he says, you can't line up ducks in a row. He says, they're ducks, they move willy-nilly. I really like the word willy-nilly. Willy-nilly means without direction or planning or whether one likes it or not. Here's an example of how to use willy-nilly in a sentence. This is from an article talking about how to use semicolons. To be clear, you shouldn't use a semicolon willy-nilly in place of a period. Use it to indicate a continuation of a thought within a sentence, a particularly close link between two independent clauses, or a subtle, if undefined, relationship between them. Kia ora in Stick News today, a mayor in Turkey is being sued after he erected a huge statue of a robot. Ankara is the capital city of Turkey. Meri Gocek has been the mayor of Ankara for the past 21 years. On the 1st of April, a statue of a giant robot was erected at a crossroads in the city. The mayor is now being sued for wasting public money. According to today's Zaman, the mayor has previously posed in front of giant robots and published the photos on Twitter, asking his followers, which robot is more handsome? The mayor released a statement saying the robot was more clever than the people who sued him. He said, respect the robot. And that was Stick News for Monday the 13th of April. Kia ora. Today's word is behoove. In today's conversation, Charlie says to Jake, Well, if this little girl's important to you, it would behoove you to have a plan. And Jake says, Behoove? And Charlie says, It would benefit you. Behoove can be spelt with one or two O's. American English has two. And I'm going to spell it with two because I think it looks better with two O's. It's a formal verb and it means it is a duty, responsibility or appropriate response for someone to do something. So it's kind of a fancy way of saying you should. When Charlie says it would behoove you to have a plan, he could say you should have a plan or it would be a good idea to have a plan. What do you mean? Behoove? Ah, yeah, sure. What was that thing about ducks? Well, it's confusing. You can't get them in a row. They're ducks. They move willy-nilly. Whoa, it would behoove you to speak nicer to me. Now, let's talk about your date. 
You need to get your ducks in a row before we get to the restaurant. Well, if this little girl's important to you, it would behoove you to have a plan. It would benefit you. It's just an expression. Sorry. I know, I know. Now just listen to me. Right. Shut up. You need to get your ducks in a row means A. You need to line up your ducks. B. You need to be prepared. You need to be prepared. They move willy-nilly means A. They move all over the place. B. They move very slowly. They move all over the place. It would behoove you to have a plan means A. You should have a plan. B. You shouldn't have a plan. You should have a plan. Ankara is the capital city of A. Cambodia B. Turkey Turkey The mayor of Ankara said A. Respect the robot B. Resistance is futile Respect the robot And that was the Daily English Show. I think one of the best ways to remember a new word or expression is to try and use it in a sentence. So please leave a comment under this video using one of the words or expressions that we studied today to get or have one's ducks in a row, willy-nilly or behoove. Good luck and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.